to work fishing and got two in the bucket already um, but I found this spring head right here and there's a few things in this world that I think are as beautiful as fresh flowing spring water and mark this one on the GPS uh, you ever know you need some clean water and that's about as clean as it gets right there guys uh, it's not real fast moving but it's kind of off here in the woods you can see I'm kind of surrounded by a bunch of nothing. So, that's pretty cool. Check out the spot that I'm fishing though. This is a little runoff off the side of the creek. And I've caught four already. I let the first two go. And then started catching a couple more. So, and I've had a bunch of bites, just missed a couple. So. That's about it, guys. So, uh, a little update that I've been doing with my uh, jig heads and my grubs. If I can get up here and do this. I've been hooking them Texas rig style. Where I come through the nose and out the belly, turn it over, push it up onto the jig head, right? Like that. <clears throat> and then run the hook through and hook it weedless. Now, this only works on a 16 ounce jig with the two inch grubs. The bigger grubs take up too much room on the hook and you miss a lot of fish. I've, I've been experimenting with this, but this is a really, really, really good setup, guys. I've caught four today. Um, well, I got three in the cooler. I've actually caught seven fish, um, but three of them were too small, so I let them go. No, four of them were too small. I got three in the cooler. So I'm gonna go try to fish a little bit more. Um, and it was threatening to rain, but I think that's gone now. So I'll, I'll bring this camera with me and get a little bit better quality than you do on my cell phone. All right, guys. So I've been fishing these little, um, little flooded areas along the side of the creek. And the creek's just now getting down under the bank. <sighs> Sorry, pterodactyl, a.k.a. mosquito on my arm. Uh, I'm going to get down here and see if I can't hook up more in the cooler. <laughs> 